Well, howdy folks, another part of this Napoleon Total War campaign in Italy. This is part 10 with your host, Call Me 247. We are taking Verona. We're gonna demand surrender first, though, if that works. Here we go. So we'll peacefully occupy. And everybody's disappointed because, unfortunately, we did not have a fight. But that's alright. That's alright because what we're gonna do, since we have the city right now, that's my goal. Um, I'm gonna look at the territory, make sure that everything on this place is the way I like it. We can start recruiting militia. We're gonna keep the army where it is for now. So, uh, I just wanna make sure I did not exempt any region for, you know, taxes or anything. Nope, everything's fine. Parma building our cannons, training our batteries, and Napoleon coming up. Here we go. So we'll uh, we'll uh, skip the turn on this. I don't have any other troops to move. I think I have troops here. So we'll be moving the chasseur and the chasseur à cheval. They are going to. Let's send them to Mantua. Well, that's a three turn. I'm moving there. there th those are not necessary to, you know, advance and what I'm gonna do. But, still. Um, this is all physically of line going to Napoleon's army. Parma, we have cannons. Coming out. Let me hold on here. So two turns we can... We can train more. But, um... Not, um... I mean, we only have like, uh... Let's say, ten months to get through all of this, so that's 20 turn, but we'll be done before. Let's skip the turn because I really uh, don't have anything to train or build or spend my army, uh, or spend my, sorry, money on at this point. I kind of moved back a little bit. Here we go. We'll zoom in. Military Alliance, Tuscany. Seven gold payment of 740. Uh, yeah, sure. Un only 20 turn remaining to the campaign. That's what it says right there. So that's a uh, settlement besiege. So we kind of sneak the army around. We're going to go wipe it out. We'll leave just the militia there. Get out of my face. Oh, wow. I should have faced that with citizen. That would have been fun. But uh, let's uh, auto-resolve it. Oura! Oura! We're you done. Sure? I'm gonna keep my uh, I'm gonna keep my army where it is. I should be moving it up north. The thing is, I want to make sure that it's uh, it's all full, and I'm waiting for a cannon also, and I might be training another one pretty soon. So with the ten thousand gold or francs that we have right now, there is nothing to do. Absolutely nothing. Monsieur, I have a cannon. Where are you going? You're apparently going to Verona. Well, look like you're not going to Verona. You're going to this army. This is where you're supposed to go. Good stuff. I'm gonna... I still have one turn to wait for my land infantry. Uh, but this army... It's not in the best shape ever. I don't have enough li line infantry to really advance. Um, waiting for a turn, Mentua, the troops will be coming out. I don't think they'll be walking the road all around. Might as well go take Pandova with what we have. Not a big task, but let's go take Pandova with what we have. And then we'll have the, uh, we'll have the troops that we're recruiting here move up north and then join for the battle of Venice um, I don't have anything to move we could be moving up north on the Austrian that would be good but uh, I'm gonna stay where it is like I said um, I can't really really move anywhere let's make sure that we're building and we're recruiting everywhere that's good there's no construction to replace really I'm replacing I'm doing a barrack here because the uh, because of the factory we have here 
my musket factory. You know. So that will help us recruit more troops, but we don't need it. We're at the end of the campaign. I'm skipping the turn again. And no panic if you're not following the campaign. This is the, the Piemontese, by the way. My protectorate moving in all of his army up north. I don't know why, but all of his army. He's training troops every turn, and he's moving up north. So, what do I have? I have my three line infantry, or officer, let's uh... You're gonna be advancing on the land, this way. Like I say, I'm gonna have them meet, but probably not in support, they'll be too far. This is full. We have one cannon. This is a miracle, we have one cannon. Uh, in Parma, what's happening, Parma? Two turns to have another one. Wow. And we can now, since we're done with the construction, we can now recruit some of them here. Um, I'm gonna go for uh, eight pounders. We'll recruit them and then we'll place them after that. Monsieur? This is full. I'm moving near Trento. I'm gonna move on the road. Sometimes it's a bit confusing the road and the 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 limit of each territory, but uh, nicely done, though, in uh, Napoleon. So um, we can assault here. Look at all my super experienced cannons. <laughs> And we're facing citizens. They can apparently surrender. Let the men surrender. Alright, go away. Go away. Peacefully. Um, we can rebuild. Because we have a lot of money. I cannot recruit anybody. But I can replenish my troops. And this is a supply... Oh, nice. A supply warehouse. So we're gonna be... Uh, I noticed here that my army was getting quite a bit of... a. Uh, replenishing on each unit so this is quite good will be full this is gonna be moving to Pandova next turn I have three units at the back hold on they're still moving right no they're not what the hell you are supposed to move they didn't get blocked by anything all right so before we... are we skipping to the next turn? Yeah, we'll skip to the next turn right now. We get Pandova repaired and we can get some militia inside. I might be recruiting it from here though. Yeah. And then move it right away. I have two units. We'll bring it one right into the city. And I'm gonna get Oh, they can, ooh, can't get in in one turn. Alright, so we'll skip the turn. I'm not too afraid of the uh, 20 turn limit. We'll get there, folks. Don't worry. I mean, I, don't, I think Venice might resist. And if you look carefully on the, uh, the map, I can't really show you a zoom on the map. But there's only four territories to take. That if Venice really holds on. Um, we can probably get to Venice right now, though. Let's, uh, let me just get my army out. I just want to see where this unit can go. Alright. Let me get my army out, except for the militia. Uh, near Venice. We'll go there. I have those three units to join. Fusilier of line, by the way. So we have a really nice and decent army now. And but we can't get to Venice this turn, but the army will just get super replenished at this point. Um, I have no militia. I have enough here. All right, so we'll do one unit of militia. While everything is repaired, we can retrain the rest. That's pretty nice. I can add Chasseur to my army. But let's not forget that I trained some. I might be joining them with Sergio. You know. Um, let's move forward and the next turn I'm gonna recruit one unit of militia to make sure everything stays nice and fine in this place. There's nothing else to do. 
Alright, so Napoleon's ready to move. We're gonna move Mr. Seruri, although he's only got one cannon. We're moving on Trento. There we go. So this is the uh, the nice fight I'll give you guys today. He's got support of a general. Tegobert Sigmund von Wormser. So he's not gonna surrender. Let's assault. With one cannon. I know, I know, I know. Cannons win battle and win war. But... Uh, it's not really uh, if you do this campaign you will you will see it's not uh you'll get there I tried to get my buildings as fast as possible make sure I could train them as quick as possible but really uh and the campaign might not happen the same way for you uh I played this campaign before and I did not have to wipe out the papal state I just uh I went and not the full venetian if I remember well so, uh, uh, does he have a battery? Yes, he's got a battery. And look at this beautiful terrain. Are we gonna wait for him down there? No, we have to get up. I have to get up this terrain that I do not like. Ow. Damn this, brother, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Yeah, well, at least we'll put the cannon in range to hit something. I don't see my range line. Because of the freaking thing. Uh, I don't think I can hit all the... Yeah, I can see it. Alright. So it's really far. Where's this general? Where's the general? This is Napoleon. You can't hide. Where's your general? right there I'm well placed so um, let's get my three unit of fusilier on this side because they'll be working a lot and I'm gonna get line infantry but on the other side of my cannons here spread those two whatever they gonna do because of this I don't know those are my chasseurs. My general should not be staying here. I don't want to be hit by a cannon at all. I'm not interested. You can't. You can you see me? Would he be able to see Napoleon? Yes, maybe. We'll go at the end of the line and start the battle. Shoot my cannon right on his general. Good shot, guys. Good shot. Let's look at them from. That's from the back. Reloading. Get in front. Hey, war. He's moving his cavalry up this thing. But, this is kinda fun though. Whee! Let's move them around, I, I like that. i right, shoot them again. I killed more. What are those? Chevaux Léger. A unit of 60. We killed two or three of them here on top of that. Yeah, I see. Yeah, leave them right there. Alright, let's have fun with the rest. What do you guys think? Send cavalry on the other side. I don't know if my cannons can. Yeah, we can still hit the the unit. It's out of range now. And, oh, not even that church. 
So I think I'm gonna send a couple shots in that infantry because his general is a bit far. German fusilier, armed citizen. Turn the battery. Turn the battery. And shoot right in the bunch. Oh, nice. This cannon is not shooting, it's because it's shooting through this, I guess. Where's the battery? Oh, he's moving the battery. I'm hitting, I'm hitting this unit or those units because I want them to move. And they are not moving. We'll look at one last shot and then we'll move, alright? See if, if we'll see if one rank is gonna fall. They're really shooting at the end of the unit. Middle. It's my cavalry coming back up the hill. No, he's just not shooting straight. Oh, finally. Kill two or three. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Good thing I didn't move. Those are all dead. Alright. We'll get our shot in this unit. And I'm gonna start advancing. Advancing my line. And on the run. Monsieur. Change unit. Oh, he's moving here. I, again, you're moving up. You are not moving up. Move my cavalry on the side. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this lining. They really have no point being there. But let's advance. Beauty. Another shot that I too bad I missed. But uh this is not gonna it's not like it's gonna make him run or anything. And I hate the fact that he's just rolling right now. I hate it. Come here. We're gonna I'm gonna have to get all my troops up the up this place eventually. And I do not like using fast forward to be honest. I used fast forward before. You saw me take some forward using fast forward. It's a bit long. So where are you gonna go? Up here to fight? I keep advancing on the hill. We'll send the chasseur in the wood. And I'm thinking about sending two units up, so I don't know that all that's gonna happen. But uh, let's. Uh, you can't. Hit my general. If I go there, what's gonna happen? Are you gonna go in a straight line? Or are you gonna climb up this rock thing? You don't look like you're going the right way. Senator unit. Take a walk. A long one, but take a walk. 
Now what I really like is he's moving everything, kind of trying to follow me. You can see my line will be forming. I'm pressing space, by the way, for those who don't know and keep asking the question. So you press space and you can see your formation. So I have the three units running up. I don't know where they're going to go, but they're running up. And I have those three that I don't know what to do with. I'm thinking about taking... Let's go in front of this farm. And then my cannons are still having a lot of fun because he's placing everything in range and in some kind of a nice angle. I can keep shooting in his unit. Well, right now. And my cavalry is not super useful. So I guess the three units I'm sending on the side will be uh, the one doing the difference. More cannonballs bouncing on the hills. Ah, oh, those Austrians. Um, we're gonna get moving up with my units. He's still gonna be shooting downhill, which is kind of a uh, kind of annoying. But uh, we have to. I want to see range. So that's about here. Yeah, let's put one unit on the other side. La cavalerie attend les ordres, monsieur. Oui, monsieur. Infanterie d'élite. La cavalerie attend les ordres, monsieur. So I'm gonna send this unit place really on the other side of this little hill and then place my other three carefully if it's possible. That's nice. So what is the cavalry gonna do? This is what you're gonna ask. What is the cavalry gonna do now? Because I mean is there is there a lot to do? Probably not. But here's what I'm gonna do with my infantry. That's that I know. I'm gonna take a building. I have my other two units running out. My cannon still hitting the bunch. Look at this beautiful line where I'm gonna shoot. Not the first unit, always the second unit. But if I get one beautiful cannonball, I'm gonna kill. Not thousands of them. That'd be nice. Look at this. That 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 kind of bounce, right in the bunch. That'd be really cool. So we send all of his army on the side. There's a bit, a lot of turning. But here's what I'm gonna the do. Of the are a must rest a while. Here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take this side. Oh yeah. Get, we're getting good shots and kill a couple. Look at this one. Look at the rank. I just don't want to have friendly fire. I'm ready to just stop my cannons at this point. And then we're gonna. He's got one unit advancing. gonna try grenades. And we're gonna send them four volley in. Yeah, so we have to look at the fight also at the on the other side, let's not forget. This unit should be running now. They did not throw any grenades. They're gone. 
get up the hill. I don't want to get shot. Oh, come on, get me rid of that. That's not as general though, anything. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must <laughs> Because he was walking around my building that I took. But he got shot. This unit, folks. My great carabineers. Oh no. We broke another unit. We'll get on the side now. This one is gone. I like that. We're gonna bunch and come down the hill. It's pretty. It is time. And we're gonna take those three units that I had at the back, not doing anything. Coming in also on the run. We'll send the chasseur doing some more work. But we get one unit out. I'm gonna stop the battery. For now, oops, we get into range of one unit. He's not gonna have time to play, so don't worry, folks, he's gonna break before that. Oh, he's shooting still. Come on, guys. Fire. Yep. Nope, not breaking. Enough for you for the fight. Oh, they're breaking. Let's shoot another unit. Let's charge this one first. There you go, we'll get the cannon on that unit that I don't know why I still resisting. We're doing good on top of this hill, but not as good as I want. So we'll be turning a little bit. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. All right. So my chasseur doesn't don't have any ammunition, any ammunition anymore. Turn. And that's it, I'm going in. Glorious victory, sir. Time for video. time to get experience. Time to wipe out all of those. And time to also assault. There you go, they're gone. This is gone too. Oh, there is a square that we're gonna send two, three units to wipe out. I'm gonna go in this cannon battery with that. And we are done. Uh, let's get here. There's maybe one too many unit. All right, so I'll just turn around. And those have two units coming in, only two, that's enough. For the cannon battery. It's 
not existent anymore. And all we got here is his general. And he's gonna charge. And we're gonna do the same. And I'm gonna take this unit out of the building and bring it around. So you regroup one unit at the back. That's the square that wasn't running. We'll make sure we break it. This general is still doing good because of that. So let's make sure there's nothing behind us. No way. What did he break? Ah, it's because the the unit's too small. Fight! Fight! I I. And the general is running away. Are you running? No, you're not. Run! Run and hit this unit. So we got another three at the back. Here we go. He's still. We're still running after his general unit, but he's not gonna come back. There is no flag on it. This is all you know. We're gonna come over and charge this unit. He's getting another one up. Uh, uh, that's lovely. We'll send their chasseur into the church. That's running away, that's running away. That's coming in. So we got another unit to turn around to. Wow. Difficult fight because of the terrain. That's all. It's just really because of the terrain. Why can't we move away? You can run. If Napoleon is asking you, you can run. So there's one unit on top of the hill that's resisting right now. That's it. My guess, because my cavalry is still killing the bunch. Uh, we got two units coming in. I'm gonna have my two units coming right here on the run. On the run. All right. Let me squeeze the last unit, folks. And we are done taking the first Austrian territory in this campaign. Look. D didn't you notice that all your mans are just walking away right now? Why are you turning around? Your general is gone. My units are coming in, running. They're kinda, you know, walking left and right, and it's really because of this hill. But uh, am I gonna have my two units in place in time? No. Oh no, I'm not gonna have it in place. Advance. And form a square. That's a good, a great idea. Don't go running into a square. Our men are running. Yeah, look at that. Now my cavalry's gone. 
Oh well. Good thing I trained more chasseur, right? We'll just send this unit, that's gonna be the end of that. Advance. Alright, end of the battle, folks. They are all running away. And we could be getting more, but there's no point. They just didn't run away from the city. And we will end the battle on an heroic victory. Another territory taken. Beautifully here by uh, Mr. Serrier. I'm all with... It's because I, I want to push the Austrian right away. Uh, the only thing we have to do right now is take Venice. And we are ready to do that in the next turn. Right? Because of the distance, I can't get there right now. So that's because I moved troops in. Uh, but I wanted to make sure we take territories from the Austrian so he doesn't have any money and he can't really oppose us in any way. Uh, right now, this army doesn't look like it will be retrained really quick. Nothing is burned or anything. We can start recruiting the militia we always need. Here we go. And then what we're going to do is skip the turn. I can recruit a lot of stuff here in Pandova. But what we're going to do here is actually skip the turn. Like I said before. So we can get Napoleon to take Venice in early April of 1797. And advance. Again. On more... I don't think more Venetian territory because they'll be tired right there, but uh, let's go. So I have Napoleon here. We'll attack Venice, part of our mission. So what we'll face, we'll be facing line infantry, not a lot of experience. Dragoons, three units, and 12 pounders, three units. Uh, Grenadier, only one unit. Wow, so a lot of line infantry. This is what we're going to be facing with a mix of, yes, line infantry, Cannons, a little bit less on the cavalry part, but uh, you'll see with some chasseurs and some, you know, not skirmishers, but uh, with some chasseurs and some uh, Lombardy uh, Legion that we have, and some of the Grenadiers that we have, we have two units, uh, we'll be able to work around. So make sure, folks, that you watch part 11 of this Napoleon Total War campaign in Italy. Thank you all again for watching, and thank you for your, all your thumbs up. And all your comments again on my videos, I really appreciate. Have a good one, folks.